Hey there, today I'd like to show you my 2026 planner setup. Of all the planners I've created, the ones I actually use are the all-in-one planner and the ultimate notion planning system. This year, I've been enjoying the classic all-in-one planner, but for 2026, I want to go back to the minimalist style. So I'll be using the portrait planner in the pastel color. First, I'll show you how I use the all-in-one planner as a life planner. Then I'll show you how I use the notion planner as a word planner. And at the end, I'll show you how I sync my planner, Apple Calendar, and Google Calendar in Notion. Our all-in-one planner includes all the central yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily planning pages, as well as lifestyle templates. As I've explained in many of my previous videos, you don't have to use every single page, just choose the ones that work best for you. For me, I mainly use the monthly calendar, daily planner, daily reflection, and a few lifestyle templates. Now we're on the January calendar. I use the monthly calendar to plan activities for my eight-year-old. I also make copies of the monthly calendar to track home tasks and personal tasks like appointments. The idea is that you don't have to put everything into one calendar. You can make multiple copies for different areas of your life. I sometimes even print them out and stick them on the fridge which makes it really easy to keep track of home and kid-related tasks. Next, let me show you my daily planner and daily reflection pages. Our planners come with various daily layouts, and the one I use is the blank Bujo daily layout. I use it like a diary. Sometimes I write highlights of the day, and other times I add an inspirational picture or quote that matches how I'm feeling. What I love about journaling with apps like GoodNotes is how easy and flexible it is to move things around, especially images. It really makes planning more fun. For the daily reflection page, I use it every day for gratitude journaling and to track hydration, sleep, mood, self-care, and exercise. For work planning, I use our ultimate notion planning system and I've been using it ever since I created it. The level of customization and flexibility is honestly a game changer for my workflow and productivity. This is my notion planner, customized from the original version. I mainly use the task section and the project section. Under tasks, we have today, this week, and task center. All my tasks live in the task center. Tasks under the planned tab are things I plan to do. If I want to work on a particular task today, I change its label from planned to confirmed, and it automatically shows up in the today section. So the today section shows the tasks I'll be doing today. Oftentimes, when making a to-do list, I may over plan or change my mind. So for things I decide to do later, I'll send them to the default tab. And for things I am not sure I will do, I send them to the maybe tab. Also, I can revisit all my completed tasks here and I can search for specific tasks using the search tool. Also, I can categorize the tasks by priorities and type, so it's easy to sift through them. These are all customizable. And I can also set due dates and reminders. If I want to add notes to the task, I can click into the task and it will open up a new page. This task management approach was really well for me because I'm constantly adding things to my to-do list, but I can't always get everything done as planned. I also change my mind and reschedule things quite often. 
The task center acts like a central hub where I can add, track, and retrieve tasks, making sure nothing gets forgotten or lost. Lastly, let me show you how I sync my planner, Apple Calendar, and Google Calendar using Notion. I have a separate Google Calendar just for home and kid related events, and both my partner and I have access to it. Whenever I plan these activities, I add them there so we can both see everything in one place. This Google Calendar along with my Apple Calendar for personal appointments is synced to my Notion Calendar. I also sync work-related tasks from my Notion Planner to the Notion Calendar. As you can see, I can view all my events and tasks in the Notion Calendar and I receive reminders for every single event or task directly from Notion. And that's my current planner setup for 2026. I hope you find it helpful and inspirational. Whether you are new to digital planning or still figuring out what was best for you, the most important thing is to experiment and build a system that fits your own lifestyle. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Your support really helps us keep making more useful digital tools for you. Thank you so much for supporting Folito Line. I'll see you in the next video.